What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to a brand new Liverpool transfer news video and Martin Zubiman is very close to signing for Liverpool. We could have an official announcement on the weekend because Liverpool gave a deadline to Martin Zubimendi and it's the weekend, probably Sunday night, until Martin Zubimendi has to decide whether he joins Liverpool or stays at Real Sociedad and Liverpool are doing absolutely everything possible, even involving Arne Slot and the board of directors to convince Martin Zubimendi to sign for Liverpool and uh, they are still working very very hard on an agreement. The possibility of Liverpool including players in the deal has been put on the table. That's what some journalists are reporting so we will get all the latest news and updates around Liverpool's transfers right here right now in this video so if you enjoy these make sure to leave a like subscribe if you are new around here and don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you never miss the latest updates around Liverpool FC and the player has already given the green light to Liverpool this negotiation didn't start like a week ago Liverpool started this these talks weeks and weeks and weeks ago so already Liverpool did a lot of the groundwork and a lot of the behind the scenes stuff necessary to convince Martin Zubimendi to join Liverpool and Richard Hughes, the sporting director and Liverpool are pushing very hard to convince Zubimendi to leave his boyhood club. Any holdups in a deal are not due to players being offered in exchange, so Lewis deal debunked that theory. The delay is due to the player's decision and the structure of any deal. So Zubimendi still didn't say the 100% definitive yes. Liverpool are still working with Real Sociedad whether to pay the full release clause in uh, one payment or whether to structure a deal which would involve the, you know paying the money in four or five installments in four or five years. David Ornstein is reporting this. Liverpool continue to work on the deal for Martin Zubimendi, Ian Doyle reports. No other players involved in the possible transfer despite some claims. Uh, even David Ornstein said that uh, players heading in the opposite direction to Real Sociedad is not the focus of the talk. Matteo Moretto is re reporting that Liverpool are the only club who want to pay the 60 million euro release clause or perhaps even a little more than that depending on how they want to structure their payments. Some Liverpool fans say that an uh, if Zubimendi says no to Liverpool, then uh, Barcelona is open to selling Frankie de Jong, so he, Frankie de Jong, so he could be a Zubimendi alternative, and he would cost around the same amount, 60 million euros plus some uh, bonuses. Uh, but I don't think Liverpool are focusing on that right now. We will try everything to get this Zubimendi deal over the line, and this is very good that Liverpool are all alone in the race to sign Zubimendi because no other club is prepared to pay the really exclusive. Uh, really is closing full because of the financial fair play and profit and sustainability rules Liverpool have a lot of money still in the bank because we haven't signed any players yet and we will sell a few players even if we sell like Vandenberg, Carvalho and uh, Ned Phillips and some others we could basically make the money back instantly of what Zubimendi costs. Undoubtedly, Matteo Moretto reports, Martin Zubimendi is attracted by the chance to join Liverpool. If that was not the case, the matter would be closed already. He is thinking it over very seriously. And any new contract proposals that Real Sociedad would put on the table for Martin Zubimendi, it would be far, far lower than the contract Liverpool are offering. So Liverpool are not just offering a sporting excellence, Champions League football, fighting for the Premier League title, but also a much bigger contract with a much higher wage and a much better sporting project because Real Sociedad already lost uh Le Normand to Atletico Madrid, they are in the process of losing Marino to Arsenal. So Zubimendi staying at Real Sociedad doesn't make a lot of sense because they will only be fighting maybe to get into Champions League. And Real Sociedad have been trying to make everything that has happened over the last few days seem natural. Like the fact the players traveled to Germany, he played in a friendly for the last 25 minutes, he did really well, didn't get injured, which is really good news. So yeah, Real Sociedad is just trying to project to their fans that everything is all right. Zubimendi, we are trying everything to keep him and in the end if he leaves it will be down to the player. It's all a big show, you know, for the Real Sociedad fans. And Arne Slot is even involved personally in the process to present the project to Martin Zubimendi. He needs to talk to Zubimendi and needs to 
show him how of a much of a key integral part to be when they will be to Arne Slot's new Liverpool project because Liverpool's midfield will be built around Zubi Mendy and of course McAllister and Sobosley as well and Fabio Zumano is reporting that Liverpool are ready to do anything to sign Martin Zubi Mendy we are really on top of this and I really like the ambition that Liverpool are showing here Zubi Mendy must make his decision this weekend Liverpool will not wait forever because if we can't sign Zubi Mendy by you know Sunday or Monday then Liverpool will move on and target other players because uh, the clock is ticking there are only three weeks left of the transfer window the journalist the Spanish journalist San Sebastian based Real Sociedad expert journalist is reporting that Zubi Mendy has opened a lot of paths paths uh, that will be very difficult to undo with the meetings he has had with Liverpool in the last two weeks Liverpool expects uh, Zubi Mendy to wear red to wear the Liverpool shirt next season onwards the contract offer from Real Sociedad is still far away from what Liverpool are offering and uh, in England the Liverpool are quietly confident that Zubi Mendy will play for Liverpool next season it's up to the player who had to take a decision this weekend since Liverpool won't be waiting for him any longer at Liverpool they believe that Zubi Mendy has already given them his word while Real Sociedad are waiting for Liverpool's call on the final structure of the deal where they hope to scratch some sort of benefit like a possible sell-on clause so yeah Liverpool will probably sweeten the deal by offering maybe a sell-on clause to Real Sociedad or maybe pay a little bit higher than his release clause to structure the deal in four or five payments and this uh, Mikal Rakan Calder's update is very positive because Liverpool feels Zubi Mendy has already given his word to them that he will sign for Liverpool so now we are just waiting on his final decision. Real Sociedad will offer improved contract but it's still very far off from what Liverpool are offering. Real Sociedad is waiting on Liverpool to specify the form of payment, uh, maybe a clause, uh, sell-on clause plus a possible payment structure where it may include future sell-on percentage to sweeten the deal. So Liverpool Liverpool wants a decision by this weekend. Real Sociedad feels there is little hope in uh, Zubi Mendy deciding to stay because he has already given his word to Liverpool that he's going there. And Real Sociedad basically resigned to losing him to Liverpool. They just wanted to put on the show for their for their fans that they did everything to keep Zubi Mendy at the club. And a, this is very interesting stuff between the lines that the Basque outlet Noticia Gipuzkoata says that it will be very difficult to convince Zubi Mendy. Just a few weeks he affirmed the commitment to Real Sociedad. But then um, uh, Zubi Mendy follows the Premier League and he would be open uh, possibly to uh, you know a transfer. And then he, they claim that these Zubi Mendy talks have been uh, cooking and going on for a little while. And remember that uh, this Zubi Mendy transfer negotiation it started weeks ago it involves a long period of negotiations and talks between Liverpool's representatives Zubi Mendy's agency and representatives and yes many fans are impatient they're even angry on social media why isn't Liverpool getting this done quickly but you have to understand that uh, that these negotiations take weeks, months even sometimes. Martin Zubi Mendy seems to need the assurance, reassurance, but you can't blame him when he's leaving his boyhood club and the place he has grown up at. Uh, he wants to be 100% sure that he's making the right move, the correct move for his career. So Arne Slot getting involved personally, I think helps this deal get completed because Arne Slot can tell Zubi Mendy his vision, his playing style, how much he wants to play short passing, in intricate football, build out from the back and that suits Zubi Mendy's playing style, that's why he, we are signing him. So Arne Slot has a clear vision, a clear philosophy for his midfield and I'm sure he will be able to convince Zubi Mendy that he is the key to that. Things take time. Remember the Alexis McAllister talks. We signed him last summer. We started talks with Brighton as early as Feb February, March last year. And these talks take a lot of time because uh, we need time to convince the player, to convince his representatives uh, and to hash out all the little details, what kind of contract we are offering him. And especially because Richard Hughes took over this summer and Zubi Mendy was playing in the Euros until July the 14th. So probably during the Euros, 
we had to shelve talks a little bit or just you know not not be as involved and as active in the talks because we wanted to respect Zubimendi's uh, quest to win the Euros and after the Euros these talks ramped up again but we already laid the groundwork probably even before the Euros uh, to sign Zubimendi. Now another exclusive story, Stefan Bajcetic was told by Liverpool that he can leave on loan and if it looks like this, this means that it looks like Liverpool are confident that we will get the Zubimendi deal over the line and it looks like we will have too many midfielders because we will have Curtis Jones, Harvey Elliott, uh, Brian Gravenbeck, Dominic Sobosley, McAllister, Zubimendi, maybe even others. Uh, so Bajcetic, probably Liverpool thinks that he needs a certain amount of minutes after his 18-month injury and maybe Liverpool thinks he won't get that if Zubimendi signs or after Zubimendi signs he won't get that at Liverpool and the best case scenario for his career is to maybe get a loan where he will play a lot more. So Liverpool head coach is making some difficult decisions. Stefan Bajcetic will be allowed to leave on loan. This week Arna Slot's decision has been told to Stefan Bajcetic and Bajcetic was expected to be involved uh, with the first team this season and he was expected to actually start a lot of games with Arne Slot but Slot has decided that will not be the case because he missed a lot of games last season with a long-term calf injury and he feels, Arne Slot feels that Bajcetic playing on loan a full season at another club benefits his development more than him staying at Liverpool and maybe sitting on the bench most of the time. So now that Zubiman is more than likely to join Liverpool, it looks like Liverpool want to send Bajcetic out on loan to give him more t playing time. There was uh, of course the rumor that Bajcetic could be going to Real Sociedad. Remember that Bajcetic is from Spain so he could be interested in joining Real Sociedad but it, that is not the case. Bajcetic will only be allowed to leave on loan. Bajcetic will be hoping to get the necessary game time this campaign to help build on his on his impressive showings he, display, he displayed when he first broke into the Liverpool first team under Jurgen Klopp. So I think that's a very very interesting and it's a, maybe a smart decision by Arne Slot that he thinks Bajcetic playing at another club you know 20, 30, 40 games is better than him playing at Liverpool for 15 games or 20 games and he won't start a lot of games because remember we are back in the Champions League so Liverpool will be under pressure in every single game to win so we can't really like experiment with young players or nurture young players that much because unless we have a major injury crisis we would need to put out our best possible lineup barring injuries and tired players of course in every single game. If Bacetic has a good loan spell maybe we will recall him in January and integrate him into the squad or if, if there is an injury crisis maybe we will structure lo the loan deal in a way where Liverpool will be able to recall Bacetic uh, in January and give him proper playing time in the second half of the season but I think this is a good decision by Arne Slot because Bajcetic needs to play more minutes than what he would get at Liverpool. Arne Slot probably already has a clear vision, clear idea of what he wants from his Liverpool squad and maybe Bajcetic isn't good enough for that yet so him sitting on the bench is not good for anyone. And Florian Prettenberg is reporting that a lot of clubs in the Bundesliga are interested in Sepp van den Berg. Stuttgart, Hoffenheim, Wolfsburg, Mainz, Mönchengladbach, Leverkusen. They are all keen to sign Sepp van den Berg. Some teams have made concrete offers to Liverpool, but they were all rejected. Some teams still hope for a loan, like Mainz. But Liverpool are demanding at least 20 million for Sepp van den Berg at this stage and they were totally happy with his performances in recent weeks. So the future remains open, no decision yet. Uh, Sepp van den Berg still has a contract until 2026 and this means that probably Liverpool will wait for a high offer. If a high offer doesn't arrive, then Liverpool could be keeping Sepp van den Berg, at least until the January transfer window. And uh, some publications are reporting that as many as 11 clubs are interested in taking Sepp van den Berg on. Feyenoord, PSV Eindhoven, Slot's former club uh, Feyenoord have tracked van den Berg for a long time and he's considered a top priority because they could lose uh, Lucharia Gertrudia to Aston Villa. Even though I would love Liverpool to sign him, um, he's a great player, but uh, I think Liverpool 
are stacked in the defense department, at least for now. And uh, maybe Liverpool will just uh, sell Sepanemberg only if a really high offer arrives. I think if we get uh, like a 16, 17 million pound offer for Vandenberg, then we should accept that as well. But let's wait and see what Liverpool do. I think Sam Vandenberg is a very talented player and I wouldn't mind him staying around because he's a solid player. Not first choice, but as a fourth choice centre back, I think he's a good option for Liverpool. And that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. See you later. Goodbye.